What's up, everybody? It's another episode of Hell's Kitchen. Uh, surf and Turf, the name of this episode. Somebody got put to the curb, so no more surfing for them. Let's take it. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> oh, we gotta do that limb one. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting all the way. Oh, yeah, get the light. Get the light. Get the light. Come on. Hey, hey. What? Let me dab on. Uh, <laughs> Hell's Kitchen down. Oh, man. It's hot in here already. Yeah, it's <laughs> hot. Hell's Kitchen. It's why. It's yes. why. Hello. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I stated, uh, Poorly before. <laughs> it is the Hell's Kitchen. I gotta work on the intros. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hell's Kitchen after show. I'm your host, Limkins Office. As always, I'm here with my crew. You can find me on social media at The Poet Saint all day, every day. And contrary to popular belief, my co host, Robin, I am on Snap a lot more. So hit me on the Snap and I'll hit you back. Because that's how I roll. Or, Speaking of Robin. Or he'll just watch your snap and then text you on the sidelines about your snap. Maybe. Um, uh, and I thought your intro was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just, I just, I just, like that last word. I don't know what that last word was. It was, it was not a word. Whatever I said, when we watch it back, it a was not breather. a word. It was, a yeah, breather. it was a liver. Well, hey, everybody. It's Robin with the V here. Um, you can find me at B Stays Busy. <laughs> I don't know why I said um. I'm it's a all good. under the weather. Frank Moran, everybody! We're killing it in here today. We are killing it. You can follow me on Twitter at Happy Go Jackie. Yeah. Made it quick look through that. He's always happy. <laughs> happy Go Jackie, the improv master. <laughs> AKA the voice. I'll see. AKA oh, the wait. voice. Yeah. We're going to check him out next week. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so excited. Me and Robert are going to go yes. and going to be part of the audience and then get on stage. Yeah. And, and then... I won't be here the week after. I'll be fired from the show. Let them say, you know what? We won't see you on Monday. Right. Yeah. No, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> That's going to be so much fun. So much fun. So, Hell's Kitchen, um, Surf and Turf, uh, a lot going on here. Um, let's see. I'm just, I just, I don't want to do a spoiler alert, but I would like to know, and maybe this might be a call out to the audience, those viewing, those Hell's Kitchen fans, the diehard fans that's been watching which, maybe since day one. Uh, yeah, if we can, um, uh, Mr. Steve, if we can get the uh, live chat going um, on the screen, that would be great. Thank you so much. Shout out to Steve in the engineer booth holding it down. But Always. as I was stating, um, it was a crazy elimination. You yes. know, I don't want to say exactly what it was because we would get into it, but um, it was a crazy elimination. And I'm just curious as to if there was an elimination like that prior. I just can't remember. Um, he's done some crazy yeah. stuff by like pulling people out that wasn't necessarily up for elimination right. on the same team. That's happened a bunch of times. Oh, yeah, on the same team. Right. But someone on the opposite team, like, and that just like. That happened last season, but I can't remember if it was the same team or the other team. And I cannot remember he's who pull, it was. He's pulled out people on the other team and then switched them over. Mm -hmm. That's happened also. When it's like, he was, hey, you, you get over here and then like switch people back or whatever. Yeah, especially from when the surviving together. team right. actually pulling someone out of that and team. And being like, you out of here. Like, that's. And, and, and I don't think she did, like, I mean, she wasn't good. You know, she had a bad night. But to be like, no, you're out of here, like, and you wasn't even up for elimination. Your team wasn't that up for elimination. Yeah. Yeah. She so, had the kind of personality that you thought, like, it would be a switcher. Like, hey, yes. guess what? Try it on the blue team yes. for a little bit. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Like, maybe she'll mellow out because, yeah, she Wait, was. Wait, you guys thought that he was going to switch it to the blue team? I th it happens all the time. True, true, true. It happens every season. Not this early, though. Oh, okay. Not I thought, this like, early. Meaning, like tonight. That... Yeah. Well, I'm I'm thinking as opposed to eliminating her, I thought okay, he's pulling her out to do like an early switch, maybe. Because if we're speaking know. about just as much like how much drama she adds to the show, correct. Keeping her around correct. a little longer, let her mess up with her, mix it around with the blue guy. Blue I don't team? know because I feel like we've got three people on the blue team that are going to add drama anyway because they want to. Like make it their business to bully someone every right, day, which I did week. not like. Which uh, we'll get into I had some as well. Choice oh, words, which I will not share. Yeah, on air. Yeah, for those three, but I don't like them. No, I no, do not like them. They're not, and, I don't and play that. it seems like based on next episode, it's getting worse 
especially with uh, you know one person in I mean, particular. Andrew, I mean, Andrew. Andrew. Okay. Yes. Andrew. Oh yes. Yes. Andrew. We sharing Andrew. Those Andrew. Those? Yeah. Off air? Is it... <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm Catch excited. the snap, y'all. We'll Catch do the, the snap. uncensored version of Hell's Kitchen right after this. <laughs> uh, so let's get into it. Um, the chefs walk in as they normally do in the morning, and we see tons of proteins, right? Just sprayed out, splayed out, displayed. Oh, splayed. Yeah, splayed. <laughs> splayed. 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 splayed all over the place. Splayed. And a lot of, a lot of which um, some I had never seen, yes. heard, or have eaten. Right, which Lynn, one? Had, had, had you, had you had tried already? all of that? We huh? gonna start already? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I know uh, Robin's a little under the weather, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna let her have this. I'm the, gonna let her the, have all of this today. The, how you pronounce that? <laughs> the, guinea? the guinea fowl? You the, had that? Guinea, you had that one? The guinea fowl. Is that red, or, is that red meat? White you know meat? what? You know what? <laughs> I'm not at it. <laughs> like I said, I'll let I you have them. it. It's all good. I love you too. All right, so... <laughs> They walk in, there's a bunch of uh, uh, proteins all over the place. Um, and so the challenge is each team has to go in groups of two. They have to grab and taste the dishes, four dishes splayed out. Splayed out. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> you like that word. word. Splayed out, that's not, that's not a word. It is Spread it's word, and yeah. displayed. That is your word. It's, it's, that's the new, well, that's the limb like, lingo. Is something splayed? I mean, that's basically like, you know, opened up. Like, you know, you're It is. Splayed. So it is a word. Yeah, it is a word. Okay. Is it in real life? Okay. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. See? Splayed out. My yeah. man Frank got my back. Not yet. Finally. Yeah. He has your legs splayed. Splayed out. Yeah. Mm. See? I knew I was saying it for a reason. It sounds a little. Uh, it does. That's it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I didn't, yeah. Frank got to bring it. <laughs> we're not doing the uncut yet. No. Calm down. Oh, and go back to what you were saying earlier, Misha was saying that she. She's an avid HK watcher, and uh -huh. she has seen Chef Ramsay eliminate from the winning team before, but more so in the earlier seasons. Boom. So it's probably been a long, long time, time ago. Thank you, Misha. But Lim was around back that. then. As he oh, yeah, Lim okay. had to have been around. So. Here we go. Here we go. Frank. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go gang up. That's cool. All right. So as I was saying, uh, they get to taste the dish, and they have to figure out which two proteins are in the dish, and hence the name uh, Surf and Turf. Uh, Half of them are going to be surf, half of them are going to be turf, uh, and there's going to be two proteins on each dish. Um, the different color lights will come up depending on how right they are, and then the team against, you know, all right the fastest, it's a timed event, um, is the winning team. So the red team went up first, and we had uh, Shayna, who was advocating, like... She Which was, was a it. smart move. I think it was smart too. I and and I don't I don't and I know this is a competition, and I want to kind of pose it to you all. Um, what she was trying to do with mixing up the teams because she knew that she had a weaker palate. How do you feel about that? Because, you know, she was going for the benefit team. She knows her limitations. This is not my strong suit. So I feel like we should mix it up and have people with stronger and weaker palates together to make the team itself strong. What do you guys think? I think that was the smartest decision ever. And if you watch the blue team, that's exactly how they did it from mm. the moment they picked teams. Mm. They're like, okay, weak and strong, weak and strong. Because at the end of the day, you're looking at your teammates like, oh my gosh, you can't even do this right. Instead right. of the betterment as a whole. Sure. So I totally agreed with Shayna. Okay. Because I think if you have two awesome pallets together, no matter how fast they go, they're still going to get dragged down by the two slow pallets that are right. grouped right. together. And that's just going to just end up dragging it way down what you did with the red team. Right. Speaking of, uh, so... First uh, dish that they had, it was shrimp and guinea fowl, which you were mentioning earlier. Yeah, you uh, know what that is? Yeah, I do not. Had, okay. I have not had that. Thank you okay. so much. I just wanted to know really uh, bad. You know. <laughs> I needed to know. Here we go. I checked that off my list. Here we go. My limbless. So, <laughs> limbless. You know what I saw, though, on that, especially at the beginning, with as much as I like Heidi and Ryan, a lack of hustle on their part. They were just kind of walking right oh, over to yeah. that table. Just yeah. like, no, no, That's right, true. I guess we'll get this. We'll Chef just walk Ramsey back was like, over. Come on. Yeah, okay. hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, the first one was shrimp and guinea fowl, which, and he did a good job of this, and, and they even knew, disguising, you know, what it looks like. The one that looked like lobster was really what? Monkfish? Monkfish. Yeah. Monkfish. yeah, and you look like a lobster tail, uh, and there was buffalo. Which is buffalo. the poor man's lobster. Right. I like that. I know that now. Oh, you do? Well, now you do. Yeah. Because of what it said on Wendy. the show. Wendy. I think Wendy it was Wendy. That. Who said that it was the poor man's lobster? Wendy. And I I don't think I've had monkfish either. Um, there was a few things I didn't, I haven't had. I hadn't had a squab. What the, what the heck is a squab? Squab bird. is a bird. Okay. Yeah. Squab is a bird. I feel like I've had squab once. Um, I've had octopus. I've not. I don't I've think I've had monkfish. Have you had buffalo? You've had buffalo. Yes. Yeah. Buffalo. Uh, have you had venison? 
No. Yes. You've I know. Venison. I know of it, but I haven't had it. You haven't had. Isn't venison. that like a delicacy? No, no, not really. It's just deer. Just yeah, it's deer. Oh, okay, veal yeah. is the delicacy. The babies. Baby calves. Baby calves. Baby yeah. Calves. Bless the yeah. hearts. Yeah. You can head yeah. right over to Fuddruckers and make a nice venison burger if you want. <laughs> Do they have venison uh, at Fuddruckers? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they have venison. The buffalo. They have a uh -huh. ostrich. They have a few ostrich. Oh, okay, see, so ready? I yeah. need to take a little trip over there. Bud Ruckers. We'll go after the show. <laughs> Bud Ruckers. Field trip. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, first one was shrimp, guinea fowl. The second one was bay scallops and venison. Third one was squab and octopus. Mm -hmm. And this is what we were talking about for the red team. Shayna and Aziza were paired together. And they were the ones with the weakest palates. Yo, almost eight minutes. That was rough watching almost it. Almost eight minutes. They went through every single piece of meat on the freaking thing. Shana was, was driving like, me a little crazy during this whole thing, because even during Heidi and Ryan's thing, the chicken. 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 Grab the chicken. Grab the chicken. Grab the chicken. Grab the chicken. I was... Get the chicken. <laughs> even though they brought the chicken and it was yeah, a nice. Right. Right. Get the Grab chicken. chicken. <laughs> Who was it? Was it Wendy that was like, she eats a lot of chicken. Yeah. She must really <laughs> they eat. Already said, they already know the chicken. Yeah. She was like, grab the chicken. It's got to be chicken. It's got to be chicken. chicken. Uh, that that looks funny. like chicken. Double that check. That would like be me. Check. I'm like, that's yeah. chicken. Because I don't know anything right. else. That's all there. Right. But I really <laughs> felt bad for Shana and Zia. And then you see Shana go back and she's like, I told you, you know, like trying to say like, I told y'all. But of course, it's a competition. So they're looking at like, well, you're just weak. Well, what what do you up. guys feel about Ryan's rebuttal when she's like, it's not about palettes, it was about the hustle. What did you guys feel about that? I disagree. No, that. because the, the faster you can identify a gradient, right. it doesn't matter how fast you run. Because right. you could just play that where you're just going to grab two ingredients at random and just right. as you run back and forth super mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. You'd maybe luckily get the two combi the combination right. Sure. No so way. more so like it's the hustle of your palette. Yeah, not I mean, just well, running back and forth. It's You need to have a good palette. You and have if you to. Don't, exactly. You can help someone who... You know, exactly. I mean, if you do, you can help someone who doesn't. Right. right. Together. And, well, and that's the point that Shana was trying to make, which I totally agreed with her. It's just like, I mean, you have, uh, I mean, I think in any team aspect, you know, you have, you know, in sports and, you know, what I do with poetry, you know, when I'm on a poetry slam team and we compete as a team, um, there's some people that are stronger than others in their writing. And so we will cater to that when we put like group pieces together and things of that nature, because it's for the betterment of the team. And right. I think people get so caught up in the competition and it's like, oh, no, because you want to win. So your thing is like, in the sense of you want to win, you want to get first place, yeah. be the top chef. So it's like, oh, if you're looked to be bad, yeah, we lose, but then you're the bad chef. And now when it's time for elimination, we can call you out. Yeah, but yeah. like me and Frank, we're going to be the best hosts, like, right? On this panel, like right. we're going to go against you. But at the end of the day, it makes this entire panel look really tacky <laughs> if we're just trying to like outshine each other, you know? Right, right. That exactly. That was, that was good. <laughs> that, was, that was good. All right. So anyway... <laughs> the blue team, they went up, and it did look like they were they had some issues. Um, it, it was looked the, like, the squab and octopus right. and the monkfish and buffalo. Those last two yeah, took the most time for them. Up. But um, Andre and Aaron got it on the first try. Yes, yes, right? yes, yeah. they did. The very first try. And on top of that, that was kind of what we're going to see that, you know, kind of later with Andrew because he's getting that big head. Right, because he already he said like he was the palate master. Right, yeah. he's like, oh, I got, I got this. I'm the palate guy, and so when he got on the first try, of course, that didn't help his ego, and so now he's kind of going around, you know, saying like, yo, this is this is me. I got this. And then even I think when it was the buffalo and the monkfish, he was trying to tell them to get the monkfish. Yeah, and they weren't listening. They weren't listening. So, um, so he was on that. You know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Long story short, of course, the blue team wins, and um, they get to go to San Diego. It's kind of a debt of a reward. Yeah. <laughs> it really was. I didn't know well, how I felt about that either. I mean, the, the surfing on the wave house? No? Oh, you don't think on. that was nice? Oh, that was, this is like the low budge <laughs> The funny thing was that, obviously, none of them have ever surfed none, before. At all. Um, at all. So yeah. what is, who was up the longest? One of them was up. I forgot. He was up for was. a minute. He was up for a minute. But it still was bad. Yeah. Like the whole time he was up, he looked like he was going to fall. I wanna say it was Devin. Was it Devin? I believe it was Devin. Was it Devin? Um yeah, just up there. But yeah, I think well reward, I thought it was like they were gonna do the surfing and then go eat somewhere like yeah. really, really dope. <laughs> no. no, they just went surfing and just kept falling. And it looked like when you fall, like you fail, you fail hard. Yeah. Like yeah. it was a hard that, fall. That wasn't soft landing. Yeah, no. Those, those weren't soft landings. I was like, I really <laughs> felt bad there. I'm like, they're gonna be able to cook. 
because it's looking like super bad. And no, uh, and no mention of like taking a private jet like they had last week. The Big Bear. Mm-hmm. Nope. I feel like they just got in a car and they just had to get stuck in crappy San Diego traffic. Right. <laughs> there and back to fall down on their butts, wiping out on the surfboard. Come yes. on. Yes. Well, I mean, you look at these season. There's sometimes that they're really dope, and there's sometimes it's just like mm, I'm gonna send you across the street <laughs> <laughs> to Fud Ruckers. That's right, <laughs> guys. Venison, ostrich, buffalo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You get to have all of that first there's class. A lot of chatter going yeah. on in our yeah. chat room. Yes. Um, to answer, yeah, the the girls took 13 minutes and 41 seconds. Total. Yes, total. almost yes. 14 seconds. Um, almost 14 minutes. Oof. I mean, and, just kidding. Minutes. Yeah, almost yeah. 14 minutes. Almost 14 <laughs> yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, it was a long time. But it was mainly because, of course, that eight minutes. Because if you take that out of the equation, that's only, what, five or six minutes between the rest of the three. True. And it almost seemed like they would have had a chance. But I don't know how much time it was taking the guys for those last two um, plates. Well, I feel like for the last, the la- it seemed like the last one was the longest. But the I still didn't even know fish. what that was. I feel like it was like maybe three minutes. But it's still, I oh, mean, that was it. three or four, maybe four tops. I can't remember what the total was. But all I know is that once they got it, there was still about four minutes left on the clock. You know, because it was counting down. Right, from the, right. It from was 3.55. Right. Okay, so stopped. about four minutes. So it was really not even close. It wasn't, it wasn't even close. Okay. Um, I have a quick shout out to Sharwin here on the chat. She says, I say do more random eliminations and enough with the time uh, ties before break. Which mm-hmm. I am getting really tired of that. Where yeah. it's always just kind of end up to a tie <laughs> right before they go to break, and then you, get, like, you see like the meat get sliced or the pitchfork fall on the glass. And that's, then, like, the, that's the Hell's Kitchen. Oh, that's like what they do. Always. That's what they so do. So you want them man. to get with the time, switch it up, some? Yeah, switch. anything to switch it up a little bit is good. Yeah. He's like it's yeah. 2016. Yeah. Okay. They do. They do. I see little progress um, here and there, but this particular season is very much like the previous. Um, with that, so shout out <laughs> for saying that. Uh, so we get uh, the red team; they get to make sausage from scratch. Um, that didn't seem like too bad of a. That wasn't really punishment. bad, but I don't know if I would like to have eaten a tarantula. Um, yeah, yo, yo, she took it to the head. Yo, that was Ryan. Ryan. Ryan ate that the mess out of that tarantula. And she said, and the funny thing is, in her her interview, you hear her saying, "I am terrified mm-hmm. of." So immediately you thought maybe she was going to make a big stink. Right. No, no. She took the, was it she the bulls in. by the balls? Yeah, the bulls? there you go. Yeah. Oh, by the horns. Sorry. And what? by the balls, too. It's fine. You take no, it someone too. else took the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Speaking of balls, that was, uh, that was Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly. Kimberly had testicles <laughs> and was like, where's the hot sauce? Yes. <laughs> I'm ready for these. Th- I want seconds. <laughs> she was on it. She was like, no, this is really good. Like, she really was having a good time eating that. I mean, compared to this or the one that they had to do a couple weeks ago where they had to drink that the fish guts right. shake. The nasty you, I mean, shake. Yeah, which one would you rather do? I think this one's the easier one for sure. Well, yeah. yeah I mean, I don't know. I would have liked to have known um, what all they were eating because we only saw, like, it was hard to see. Yeah. They didn't, we knew it was tarantula. We knew it was testicles. Um, it looked like some other crazy stuff. But, but no one made a big yeah. fuss. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't show anybody like, oh. And they're... I think the two that they actually did show us were probably like the, the worst. worst ones. Could have been. Could have been. But it's weird because usually they, whatever their punishment is and that they're making, has some sort of relation to what they're going to eat. That's true. And this one just seems so just random. Like, like no. here, eat these weird things. He, eat a spider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just killed this in the kitchen last night. So now you're just going to eat it. Just, I didn't even know you could eat tarantula. Yeah. Like, I mm. what's the tarantula? I'm like, that's Ew, edible? And it was still like, hairy. Like, I, mm. Yeah. Guys, was... I know a place we'll go to after that before we head to Fuddruckers. Nah, <laughs> Frank, I'm nah, good. I'm, yeah, mm. for real. Nah. I'm super Rose good. Apart. Super good. Um, so now I'm going to get into what we were kind of talking about earlier with uh, the blue team, uh, mainly Johnny and Andrew, and how they just kind of started going in on uh, Kimberly um, to shake her up. And this is something that they did uh, with, um, was it Jessica, last uh, season, or last episode, excuse me. And I, I just, there's, there's a whole lot that I don't like about this. Um, number one, okay, it's a competition, yes. And, you know, you have people that are what you considered weak links or what have you. Um, but I think the competition should stand alone. If they are a weak link, then you beat them in the competition. Mm-hmm. I don't like the fact that they go in and they berate them and make fun of them to make them want to quit or to make them, you know, feel inferior so then they don't perform well. I think that's super dirty. Um, and I think it's just super, super messed up. And when they did it last time with Jessica, I thought that was messed up. And she's sitting there crying. 
and the thing is, also, these are men that are disrespecting women. Okay. On top More of importantly, that. importantly, I'm yeah. not a fan of premeditated psychological abuse. Right. Okay, and it's premeditated. We see them sitting at the table, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thinking about it. Yeah, yeah who, who's, who's, do, who's, who's, who's next on the bully hit right, list? Right, right, I don't like that. I don't like it. No, I mean, it's a cheap and ugly way to play the game. For absolutely, sure. absolutely. Oh, I can't wait till we have one of them on the show. Yeah. If I could tell them. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I, I really, I was sitting there and I really was, I, I literally got upset. Because the thing is, if you're going to, you know, it's... I think it's a different situation if it's like another guy and you're like, oh, I'm going to get him. And then I think it's still bad because bullying is bullying no matter what. Yes, it's a competition. Yes, you're trying to win, but it's a dirty game to play. But then on top of that, you're doing that a man against a woman and it's just it's just wrong, yeah. you know, and I'm sure these men either have sisters or a mother that they would not like that want or friends or yeah. girlfriend. They wouldn't want that to happen to them. So why would you do that? Just for the sake of, oh, I'm just want to make them suffer. And what he was saying, like... Um, Rat face, yeah. splinter, uh, yeah. all that stuff. Wait, we have a quick question for Misha, a question for the panel. How do you feel about the blue team's bullying strategy? I don't think it's bullying, but just being disgusting. And Oh, okay, well, then that's yeah, a whole nother yeah, level then. Yeah. That, yeah, we don't... I mean, it's bullying, but bullying is disgusting in my, t in my mind. Yeah, no, I mean, in any form. And also, um, Houston, Johnny can go home now if he's going to get his weekly bullying segment. And he, can, he can't he can talk if he messes up ground beef as a burger <laughs> chef. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yes. yeah. The, yeah. I, I completely agree with you. And Houston. he was all like, I have long hair. I'm going to be a he good surfer. He needs to have like, a seat. Yeah. Have several a seat. seats. Have several seats. I mean, I feel like there's such a distinction between if you're going to criticize, even in a, in a really cheap, just trashy way, somebody's mm -hmm. cooking ability. Right. As opposed to their personal, like their appearance or the way you know, their behavior, or something like that. I feel like that you, you're that that is crossing the line. Well, that's the whole point. That has nothing to do with the show. Exactly. That's why I said if, you're, cooking, if it's a competition, to do with her yeah, it's a competition. You're deliberating on who's going to go home or who should be sent up. You sucked. You didn't cook that right. You need to go up. I'm sorry. You're the weakest. That's a different situation than you ugly. Yeah. Your face looks like Your a face rat. looks like that is that has nothing to do I with I mean, anything. I feel like they they tried to make it a little harder because she's tougher. But, just, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. one of these women, they're going to get you. Oh my gosh. I They're going to get you. <laughs> you got to live in the same spot, homie. I'm yeah, you're going to sleep with like, one eye. Yeah. And open. on on top of that, if they know anything about the show, you can end up working with them. You know, yeah. they start mixing up teams or what have you. That person's on your team now. What if they sab you know what I'm saying? What Getting if? them back. I mean, you made fun of them or you did this I to them. I just think they need to think a little smarter um, as far as strategizing. There's so many other ways yes. to strategize yes. Yes. <laughs> to get people And to, to, to basically win. I mean, you look at, you know, somebody who won, you know, last year, Ariel, and how she treated, you know, people. She just was like, I'm, I'm just going to win. I'm, I'm the best chef here. I'm going to call it as I see it. I remember that one time when they gave her some power and she was just like, hey, I just want to let you know you're going up. <laughs> That's yeah. Just what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember I'm setting that. you up. But Quick, it wasn't like easy. she sit up there and was like, you ugly and I'm going to send you up because, you know, that's just, it's wrong. It's it just is. wrong. It's, it's just super messed up. And I think competitions like this, they can, the, the pressure of it can bring out the worst tendencies right. in people. And it, right. you can only hope that after they watch the season back and they see mm -hmm. this episode and realize like, man, I, that was ugly. What was I doing? More the, least... importantly that, what yeah. you're saying, they're watching this and I'm sure, I'm not sure because I don't know them like mm -hmm. that. But I'm curious to know how they felt watching this, those three. You, yeah, you'd I mean, Aaron, I don't moment. think, he, he seemed like he was a part of the group too, but right. Aaron's Aaron. Oh, he's, yeah. he's not about that life. Yeah, he's just trying to, he's he's not, trying to fit in. He's not about that life. He's just like, he's trying, oh, yeah. he's just trying to fit in. Y'all not talking about me. Right, right. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, me. yeah, she, okay, yeah, handle that. Handle that. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he just didn't want the attention on him. I totally agree. Uh, so let's get into service. So um, get into service. Service starts and... Uh, Aziza is the first one in the doghouse. She starts the scallops early and she starts deep frying them. Um, which that was so crazy. Like, what? Was that just an accidental, like, I put too much I grease? Think, I think so. I don't think and she meant to be like, oh, I'm going to put a bunch of grease and, like, you know, saturate deep, Right. Like, I think she, you know, they use the squeegee thing or whatever and they spray the grease. And maybe she was just like, hey, girl, uh huh. And then just kept going and it was like, oh, and then put them in and just, yeah, yeah, it was a vat. And then she started too early, too. Yeah. And she started too early. So it was all bad. <clears throat> it was all bad with that. Um, we have Coop. On the blue team, sends the lobster, cold lobster, cold lobster. He was he was not having a good day. 
uh, Gia, our homegirl, she slows up on the garnish and she starts to get frustrated. And, and this is when... We see this often with her. Yes, yes. Where she kind of can't keep her ground. Mm-hmm. She gets flustered. Very and much And I so. think it's hard for her to bounce back when she gets like that. Absolutely. It's like she, the decline happens and then there's no letting go. And then she'll do things like walk out the kitchen. And it's like, wait, hold on. We're in dinner service. Yeah. You can't just walk out <laughs> because that's what you feel like doing. And um, she even did that in this particular uh, dinner service as well. Yeah, or make uh, or fake an injury. Yeah, with the cut finger, yeah. you know, or what have you. Um, <laughs> what have- where's the cut at? It's not there no more. It's <laughs> not there. Healed. Like, oh, yeah. I've been healed. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do God. it? Oh, just, uh, my blood vessels. <laughs> Connected them right back. I'm ready, chef. <laughs> he didn't bless me. Um, yes, didn't, didn't she put like currants instead of capers? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Who yeah. told yes, you to do that? Do that? No one told me, no to, one do told that, me to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just did it. I just wanted to chill, mix up the re- the recipe. Uh, go back to Coop. He then now sends up raw salmon. So he's just all about but not just raw salmon, yeah. but it's to the VIT the VIP table with, right, the, with the, the pregnant, pregnant women. Yes. They cannot yes. have yes. raw fish. Yes, he's trying to kill fetuses. <laughs> yeah, so bad. But I also like so Kimberly bad. in that moment saying like, I know how pregnant bitches are. <laughs> Right. And it was like, not even that. It's like, no, you need to cook food for them properly. She was like, I know when I was pregnant, I was hungry all the time. I was mad. I'm like, no, think about the way you're cooking their food. Right. Please. Please. Because Coop's salmon wasn't even pink. Mm. It was completely raw. Yeah, it was terrible. Terrible. And we get the nice fist punch. Yeah. I can't get enough. Anytime we just punch that. I really want to oh, yeah. do that. Yeah, don't, I don't want to mess up my food. You want to punch a salmon? Because yeah. I don't just have really? I don't just have an abundance of shit, you know right. food. But right. I want to I want to see if it really does that. <laughs> my about, sal- when I cook my salmon, it doesn't seem like I can just like explode how about, it like how that. How about I? I think it can because I've seen it on the show. <laughs> We've so, all seen it, but we know everything we see on that show isn't always what it seems. Okay. I want you to try it then and see. I'm going to Snapchat it. Snapchat it. <laughs> Lynn, I'll text you back. <laughs> I'll text you back and be like, like I saw your little fake uh, see? salmon right. smash. <laughs> salmon smash. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw what happened. <laughs> I don't know. It looks so fun though, guys. Yeah. Can we talk about Gia's uh, seven green beans that she <laughs> said that, that were saturated in butter? Yo, I love how he like pulled them out. He's like, wait, what? He's like counting them. <laughs> it's like there's seven. He's like, it was like half, like he needed two orders and she gave him like a half order of green beans. God. That was so bad. Like, that, like, how did you even make that mistake? Like, oh my gosh, uh, oh, here the, you go. And then she goes, I asked her if it was enough. Yeah. Who did you ask? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the right person. Because seven green beans is not like I order. said. Once she's already yeah. once once she's already out of the wheelhouse, right. it's right. just really hard. I, I mean, I feel yeah. for her. And I think that's. I mean, you know. I know. I know yeah. crazy heads. Right. Like I have a crazy head sometimes. Right. As far as thinking of a million things, and then once. once you kind of lose that confidence, that was the first thing Chef Ramsay said before dinner service started. He said, "Everybody, cook with confidence. Mm-hmm. Cook with confidence. Mm-hmm. Tell the person next to you, cook with confidence." So the moment that that's shaken, right? I, you know, some people can handle it. Some people and can't. Some people can't. And I think Gia has proved that. Right. Don't get shook. Well, doesn't she have like New York hands though? Maybe that has to do with it. Remember, <laughs> I, like, I got scared what? when Chef asked her about it. It was almost like back in the day when you were a kid yeah. and your parents were like, "Go clean up your room," and they turn around and yeah. you do this, and they were like, "What? <laughs> What'd you say?" When Chef Ramsay was like, "When you do this, what does that mean?" I was like, "Oh shoot!" <laughs> she, she was like, "It's just New York. It's New York. It's, it's just, just New York. It's, it's just, nothing. It's like, New York." Oh. And I'm like. But like, everybody from New York doesn't. Do, I'm just saying, like you gonna get in trouble. I don't if know. Ramsey had I don't to know. ask you what that. What, what does that mean? <laughs> right. Like, what'd you say? <laughs> what? Huh? Um, Ryan um, Bell G out on the green beans, which helped her tremendously because the orders did go out. They weren't as buttery um, as they were because they were super greasy. I've never seen greasy green beans. Just saying. Um, but yeah, hella buttery. It's super. Um, we see Aaron, um, our buddy, sends up cold Wellington. He Now, granted, he did not want to send it up. He was like, I, I just, uh, it's not right. But, of course, they're like, oh, we need it, you know, and it's so, so much going on in the kitchen. He brings it up, and you knew right away it was going to be all bad. Um, so after seeing that cold Wellington, and then from the fish situation. Coop, Coop uh, overcooks the yeah, sea bass. The blue team gets kicked out again. I and it was their last, last ticket. That's that was, what, that was ticket. the killer. That was the killer. They were on their last table. Do you guys think it was that much for them to get kicked out? 
I think, well, okay, I'll put it like this. This is, would be the third time they got kicked out. Yep. <laughs> out and, of four episodes. <laughs> out of four episodes. Okay. And I, I think it's a little excessive, I'm just saying, because I think that's a lot, especially if they're on their last ticket. If you're like, like, it's appetizers, can't even get out, you know, and it's been an hour or something right. like that. Yes, I could see, like, you just go, just go. Y'all can't even get appetizers out. But they're literally on the last ticket. Granted, yeah, they had some bad, you know, food come up. But it's the last ticket. And I don't you're just feel like, like, he could, I feel like yeah. he didn't have to kick them out. He's playing that. He's doing like uh, Belichick. I mean, you play for 60 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> they, those, they got, those guys didn't. They didn't play for 60, man. They started slacking. Uh, I was like, no, it. no. Yeah. What? You got to oh. go. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't and know. But I don't know. Like, if, if you're in that situation, because so many times we've seen that where, like, even Aaron, as you were saying, like, he, 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 as that Wellington's going up, he's like, oh, no, it's not ready yet. Right. Why? There's so many chefs in this competition that always send up food that they know no, is not, not ready bad. or done or overdone, and they still send it up anyway. It's like, why? I would think you it's, do it? well, it's, a, it's a, to me, I think it's a peer pressure situation because he's calling this time. He's like, I need it up. Where's it at? Where's it at? And you know it's not done, but you're just like, I'm just going to give it to him because right. the whole thing is if I wait, then I'm going to keep getting yelled at and then I'm not going to be able to do it properly. I have seen, and even in this season, I feel like I don't know who it was, but there's one person in particular that was like, I'm not going up I'm, until it's done. And then he literally waited. It was on the blue team. He waited and it, he got yelled at, but when it went up, it was good to go. Yeah. So I feel like if you can handle the yelling and all of that, then I think it's better to do that. But I think it's so, it's so much pressure in that kitchen. Yeah. Sure. so much pressure and you just you know and you see what as, happened as we saw Aaron he kind of right. just kind of lost his yeah. whole footing yeah and that's our young guy's name it's Aaron just yeah. to answer you guys um our after buzzers he like dropped his head yeah. as Jeff Ramsey was talking to him oh the elimination oh yeah, let's no get into I was talking about the kitchen oh in the kitchen in, yeah during service oh yes he yes. was just like what are you doing where did, are, yeah. you, are you grabbing your footing and he yeah. was just like I don't, I, I don't, uh. I don't and know. then he did it again in elimination yeah, obviously elimination. but I feel bad yeah he's yeah. Misha he's said probably with tink tink yeah he's only like he's only <laughs> 22 so he's super young on top of that but he did well he did he, he did his communication game needs to step up majorly of course he, and that was one of the things that they said I honestly don't think he should have went up for elimination at all I don't think no. so just because either. they even said in when they were talking everything was spot on with the exception of the one last thing the Wellington that he sent up yeah but everything else his temperatures were good everything else was good so uh speaking of that you know elimination they ended up voting up uh Coop and Aaron uh, I did agree with Coop I For did sure. not agree with Aaron what'd you guys think no, I, I didn't agree with Aaron at all. I mean, mm -hmm. certainly I think they feel like the, he's the youngest. They're looking at the whole body mm -hmm. of work, but just in terms of that right. service, I mean, he nailed it. I mean, right. And I know that one of their one of their things that they're trying to cr criticize him for was that he kept on looking to Andrew just to get validation on his on his meat to make sure it was ready. But, mm -hmm. but he still nailed the timing, yeah, right. regardless really whether like, right. Andrew checked it for him or right. not. Had he sent it to the pass, it still would have been perfect. And to me, I don't think that's that, the only part. Yeah. I was like, you guys leave him alone. Right. <laughs> it's not like he. It's not like he checked with Andrew every time and then right. had to cook it more exactly i think it's it goes back to uh what was shannon was talking about with hey my palate isn't that strong let's mix up the teams so we can do this overall the way it's set up for this um you know competition right i think with aaron it's the same thing and when they're working on the line they're a team so if he's like yo can you check this out for me real quick before it goes up it makes sense it's i don't think that that devalues himself as a chef per se I yes. think that's uh, teamwork. Yeah, I think sense. it's teamwork. And it's just like, and he's cooking it. He's not like he's not cooking it. He's just saying, hey, man, check this to make sure. I just want to double check before I send it up because I want to make sure it goes through. Yeah, that and, also is an easy way to have someone to blame just in case your stuff is not on point. Right, right. I've seen that happen, too. Which, yes, yes. I was well, just going to say. Yeah, we said that last week yes. with the uh, last uh, last year, yes. uh, last season, I'm sorry, with our uh, our, our military right. cook. We'd oh, always kind of yes. pass the buck to with, somebody else. Yeah. Frank. Frank. Yeah, Frank. Frank. Yeah. Frank. Your namesake. <laughs> yeah. I'm a f yeah. Great. I tried <laughs> to forget that name. <laughs> yeah, he was doing that a lot. Oh, so and so checked it. You yeah. know, I just. Uh, well, I asked you. Did I? Well, did I? Did, I yeah, I did. You know, I'm just saying. So it's not <laughs> my fault. Yo, my name when you're talking to me. Right. You know, I let him have it and it's not on me no more. I let it go. And I was like, uh, uh, he, I think he did that for the specific reason to be able to blame somebody. Yeah. Like, sole purpose. Because he did that blame game so many times last Ugh. season. So many times. Uh, so, Coop and Aaron are up. And so, this is when it gets crazy. First of all, um, speaking of uh, uh, young Aaron and his little, uh, <laughs> why do you think you deserve to be in Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> Here's my reenactment. He's like, well, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting better. And uh, I'm just going to. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, oh my like, gosh. I was uh, like, wait, was what? Like, Speak was, up for yourself. Wait, Chef Ramsay was like, wait, what? Like, he was like, that's your spiel? Like, that's your defense? Like, he really... I and thought he was gonna. The, he it, thought he was gonna limit him just on the merit that it's like he just yes, gave up. I you know. gave up. You gave up, homie. Because the question, <laughs> I think the question was, um, he asked him like, are you, when are you gonna step up? Like, yeah. I know you're growing a little right. bit, but when are you gonna start communicating? Right. And then, as you're communicating with right. Chef Ramsay on. Uh, you know, telling him you're going to communicate more, you exactly. lose communication. Right, right. You completely you just. I, I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going. I'm so, mm. It's like that. What is that? Uh, the Office. Uh, no, 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 not the Office. Sorry, uh, Office Space, the movie. Oh yeah, and the stapler guy, <laughs> biggest stapler guy. Hey, give me the stapler. <laughs> like, that's what he was doing. He I was, was like, the baby, stapler guy. Come on. He was the stapler guy on Office Space. That was that was Aaron. Yeah, I thought it was curtains for him. Cooper's um, trying to throw him under the bus. Like, Cooper's yo, definitely he, kept, he kept having Andrew check his yeah, stuff. That was, was whack. Like, that was whack. Because Chef Ramsay was the one that said his timing, his timing right. was perfect. Yeah, exactly. His, his cooking times were perfect. Right. So what you talking about? Yeah, but but Andrew had to look he at his stuff. Help. He needed help. You know, Maybe you should ask for some coop. Right. Because that would bring anybody help you. Because, yeah, you needed help. Yeah. I'll give it up for Andrew, at least as much as we're like, yeah, hating the way that he was treating the, the women of the blue team. Mm-hmm. At least he was not going to just jump on the easy, like, oh, Aaron's young and he's kind of right. inexperienced. Let's just all gang pile on him and throw right. him off. He's, he stood up with the guy when he goes, no, oh, this yeah. guy delivered, so why are we getting rid of him? No, exactly, exactly. And I like that uh, about, you know, what they were doing because, again, he didn't deserve to be up. So here we go. It gets really crazy because all of a sudden he's like, person going home is Gia. And we're like, wait, what? You know, that was so shocking. What? But in the back of my head. Don't tell me you were thinking about I was it. like, what if? Because it was just a lot about Gia this episode. Think about it. Right, there was right. so much. It was Gia Field, right, right? And she kept saying, you know, they kept showing her, um, her over on the fly interview, and she's like, you know, I'm so glad we didn't mm-hmm. get eliminated, or I'm so glad we didn't lose service because I would have been on the chopping block for sure. They right. would have found some reason mm-hmm, to make it my mm-hmm. fault. And I'm like, well, it she did been say that. Yeah. She but did like, say if, that. If if you guys didn't finish service, it kind of you you would have been one of the ones, right? Like, right. That would not have been uncalled for. Yeah. It would have been completely appropriate. And she knew that. And she knew that. But there was just so much about Gia this mm-hmm. episode. I mean, we've seen it before, but she got the pass last week. Mm-hmm. And we just kept seeing her. Right. And I was just like, what if? And we were talking about thinking it was going to be another Jackie situation where like, oh, they'll hang her on. Hang, you know, she'll hang on a little bit, be some drama. She's not totally, totally terrible. Um, but no, no, he pulled her out. And then... As I said before, I thought maybe he was going to switch over to the blue team. I just knew he wasn't because of the wording. You know how he, he, the the play on words, he literally said the person leaving Hell's Kitchen. Right. That was what I was like, okay, any name he says after that, they are literally going 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 home. home. You know what else gets it is when you hear the music? (laughs) 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 When they say your name and that music, you're out. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. (laughs) You're out. Uh, If it's the build up, like, then it's like, oh, you might be here, but it's like, (laughs) like, (laughs) watch next time. Watch next time. (laughs) So a few of our after buzzers (laughs) um, weren't surprised either. Uh JJ said he saw it coming. Yeah. Um, I I didn't see it coming. I can't I can't say I saw it coming, but I, mean, I did. Yeah. It was a what if factor for me. She, I mean, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he sent her home. It was nothing like that. She was. But poor. I don't know if I felt like she should have gone home this week. I don't know. But then who would have gone home? Who should have gone home before her? That's the thing. I mean, Coop. you think Coop? Mm, but see, I, don't I know. see. My thing is with Gia. And this is what I, we were I de- talking and about. And I don't think Jessica yeah. should have left last, the week before. She should have. She sent her own cell phone. You know that. Know. That's what that was. That was. She was like, "Your bags are packed. Oh, well, let me just give you your ticket now. <laughs> Send your bags sure. already back." Yeah, no. She sent her own cell phone. I think when Gia's situation, and you said this earlier, is like she couldn't handle it. When stuff got crazy in the kitchen, she just shut down. And she didn't know what to do. And that was like consistently since they that started. Was, that was Gia's so, MO. Exactly. So it's like, you're not going to get any better. And he's looking for not just a cook. He's looking for a head chef. If she's not head chef material by now, and this is what she's doing, she's not going to make it. Well, I, that's why on that note, I'm a little worried for Aaron too. Because mm-hmm. I don't see him as head chef material in any shape or form. For sure he's not. Yeah. There, I mean, there's no way he's going to win the competition. Right. The only thing they get hope for is that he can come out with a little bit more self, uh, self-confidence. Sure. When he leaves the competition, but he won't come right. out of that position. Absolutely. No, I, I, I totally agree. I mean, again, he's young. I think he will, whatever, you know, happens with this experience, I think he's going to learn a tremendous amount 
you know, if nothing else, um, because <laughs> I think at the end of the day, he's a decent, he's a decent chef. He's he a different is, chef. he is. And, and you can that says, ass. <laughs> JJ, our after buzzer JJ yeah. says he thinks Chef Ramsey went home after that last, um, oh, I'm sorry, um, Houston, mm -hmm. after that last elimination when he sent Jessica home, like, mm, I need to fix this somehow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and came back this episode and was like, okay, Gia, <laughs> like, <laughs> you were supposed to go home last week. Um, Get up out of here. He right. did say it. He said, I gave her an extra, you know, I gave her he did, a pass, yeah, and right. unfortunately it was too too many or right. one too many or whatever you said and i think end. he does he does give people chances that he feels like maybe he can come out of it um but yeah in her case not a lot Oof, i think he got really irritated with yeah. her in service he did. he did i think for him to ask what does that mean mm -hmm. like <laughs> yeah. what's the sign language <laughs> the, you doing the new york what's, what's up? Yeah. yeah i think he was like all right, right. i got you i got your new york i hands. got your new york <laughs> On that note, let us get into official predictions. Let's do that right now. And now, you're after Buzz's TV. That's my new move. My new move. <laughs> Y'all get on me so tough, man. I swear. So glad I got thick skin, man. I'm telling you. All right. So, uh, Mr. Frank Moran. Uh, what are you thinking? I mean, we kind of talked a little bit about what we think coming up, but what do you think officially is going to happen next? Man, you know, I'm still, uh, I feel like the, the front runners are going to be either Heidi or Ryan. I, I feel like I, I need to see a little bit more from both of them to kind of differentiate mm -hmm. my, themselves in my eyes. But mm -hmm. I feel like one of the two of them mm -hmm. are the different leaders. And I feel like, you know, it's going to be Aaron. He's, as good as the cook as he is, I just know that he can't run the distance. So I think Aaron, his time, if not next episode, if the blue team doesn't win, mm -hmm. uh, oof, I, wonder if, I wonder if Ramsey would pull uh, pull him on the red team just to see if that... Uh, or I just feel like his oh, problem yeah. is just such a lack of confidence that I don't right. think going to the red team is going to help at all. Yeah, I think that would even be Plus, worse. Plus, the, the, yeah, the girls aren't going to have his yeah, back. No, like, he's no, actually no. got Andrew. I think yeah. he has Andrew on the blue he team. He does have, know. yeah, the little bro, bro. But you never bro know. Him. You never know. Right. Um, I funny you say Heidi and Ryan because I was looking at Ryan. I I was always thinking of Shayna, but I was a little surprised about her palate. Shayna. Mm -hmm. mm. So Please, now, in a good way. How no, bad it was? I, I love how bad like I had her a little higher. Right. In uh, as far as you know, her odds of winning. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, ooh, that could hurt you when mm -hmm. you have people whose palates are on point, mm -hmm. their profiles, their flavor profiles, and everything. Um. Polly is still my guy. Polly, my guy. Um, okay. For the girls, I, I, I wanted to say Shayna, but I'm thinking more Ryan. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. If you just have like a mediocre palate, right? You can't be a great chef, can you? If your palate just maybe like, you eh. can't. I, I mean, I well, I, I will say I, there was a majority of a lot of people that hadn't heard of some of those proteins. Sure. You know, during right. the challenge. So I mean. Yeah, I mean, it depends. I mean, they're coming from all different, you know, types of backgrounds as far as what they do and then where they work. You know, some of these are home, you know, chef, I mean, not home chefs, but like, uh, what is it when you cook for people, a personal chef? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it. I think, you know, they do that purposely. It's not going to be easy. Right. Right. Um, I don't know. I mean, for me, when it comes to Shayna, I actually, she didn't step down any for me. Just because she, because only because only reason I say that is because she recognized already that she did not have the strongest power. Yeah. And so because she recognized that, I felt like that to me is more of a, because this is for a head chef. Right. So this is more of a managerial role. Um, so you need somebody that can uh, dictate how things go and make sure things run That's smoothly. And so for me, because she knew that, she recognized it out the gate. She's like, hey, let's mix up these teams. Let's get the stronger with the weaker when it comes to palates so we can win. And to me, that was more of an effort of her managerial skills and what she would be able to do in this situation. As a leader. As a leader. Even what she did with G at the beginning of the episode when she gave her a little pep talk. She about sure did. Down. Exactly. She sure exactly. did. She said, calm down. Right. You got this. Right. Exactly. So Good to point, me, man. if she if she continue and she's you know she's obviously doing well. She hasn't really messed up bad that I can remember seeing so far. She so hasn't. yeah, I to me she's still my front runner. I'm just pissed off with the guys. I don't even want to pick a guy yeah. because I just think they're just they're killing me right now. Um, you know, I would sucks say to be yeah, a guy right now. <laughs> sucks to be a guy. <laughs> no, I mean with with Andrew. I mean, 
you know, yeah, he's he's doing well or whatever. And it looks like going into the, you know, the previews that I saw for the next episode, his head is even getting bigger, you know, and it looks like, um, you know, as far as what they're trying to show us that it looks like he's going to get out of control. Um, but typically those when those people do that, they self-sabotage themselves. Yeah. So I think he's going to get too big for his britches. And then I think his team is going to turn on him. And then he might be up for emulation coming up soon, you know, because yeah. of that. But we'll see. But we'll see. But yeah, I'm I'm still sticking. I'm still sticking with my girl, Shayna. Well, I, she's so. still she's still on my list. But I'm mm-hmm. um I see Ryan. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's in my peripheral. She's like right here. She's per- peripheral. She's like creeping. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> creeping, girl. <laughs> yeah. Word. And I definitely agree. I think Aaron is gonna be the next one on the chopping block. Yeah, it's. I I think so too. I think so too. Unless he has this spark of you know confidence and you know does super super well, but if he performs come on little like tink, he did, tink. yeah, if he performs like he did, it's not gonna happen. Just, Just a couple spanks from the ladies by the yeah. hot tub machine. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh Frank. What? We see what Frank lives for on these episodes. Right. I love it. Lem and I are gonna get over there. No, hot we're not. Up. I knew oh, you were gonna be yeah. rebuke it again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Killing me. All, All right, right. After Buzzers, thank you for tuning in. Misha, Houston, Sarah, JJ. There were some other ones I yeah, can't yeah. remember. No, we definitely appreciate that. And uh, of course, that has been our show. Uh, make sure that you continue the conversation because we like to know what you really think. Um, when you see this on YouTube, uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about the um, how uh, the elimination went down. You know, if you agree with Gia going home like it was, uh, if you think Aaron's going to be the next one to go home, who's your front runner? Let let us know. Um, you can comment um, on the YouTube in the comment section, and we read that. We want to know what's going on. Again, as Robin said, we want to thank everyone that joined us in the live chat. Um, continue that conversation as well. Thank you for always having our back when we have questions and things like that. Yeah. We want to know if you know what red meat is and all that kind of. I mean, you keep us straight. Don't come so for we me. appreciate that. <laughs> Don't come for you be coming with me all day. <laughs> Don't come at the end where I can't retaliate though. <laughs> I've been your host, Lim Gonzalez. You can find me at the Poet Saint all day, every day. Robin, where you at, girl? Robin with the V, McSweeney. You can find me at B stays busy. B I Z Z Y. And uh, I'm Frank Moran. You can follow me on Twitter at Happy Go Jackie. Hit me up. Let me know if you think Lemon I should hot tub it up. Man, yeah. we want to hear what you think, folks. What? Hit me up in that tweet. Oh. Uh, Get it uh, hot uh, in here. Uh, uh, there, uh, we uh, there we go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm not here next week, you know why. Because I'm He's out in the here. hot tub. No. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you next week. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz. See you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.